Now we have arrived at lesson eight, and if you've gotten this far, you are nearing the end of this first set of lessons, really the first half of the fundamentals of music. But if you've gotten this far and you complete this course, uh, honestly, for many of you, this is all you're going to need to be able to read music at a basic level and do just fine um, in taking this to the next level, whether you're singing in a choir or whatever you're doing. Um, now, today, we're going to be talking about accidentals. And to begin this, I want you to take out a piece of paper and draw exactly what I've done here. We have a five-line staff or treble clef here. We have a five-line staff and our bass clef here. And here we're going to start with A, and you're going to write two A's, two B's, and two C's. One octave above them, that's kind of a new word, but just octave just means eight notes above them. You're going to write A, A, B, B, C, C. Now, what we're going to do then is you add next to them these little symbols. I'm going to do the same thing down here in the bass clef. I've got two A's, two G's, two F's, two E's. Come down an octave, two A's, two G's, two F's, two E's. Only here I'm putting this symbol. These are called sharps. These are called flats. And when you're done drawing, come back and I'll show you what we're going to do. You finished drawing your piece of paper, and now you can look here on the screen. And um, these are called sharps. I'll show you what that means in just a minute. What I want you to do is look here, and we're just going to say these notes together like this. We're going to go A, A sharp. And then we're going to go on. All right, here we go. A, A sharp. B, B sharp. C, C sharp. Look up here, and let's do the same thing. A, A sharp. B. B sharp, C, C sharp. Now let's look down the bass clef and we call these flats. Now we go A, A flat with me, G, G flat, F, F flat, E, E flat. Let's look down here, one octave down. A, A flat, G, G flat, F, F flat, E, E flat. Now, go to your keyboard and also bring with you your two staves that you just made. And here's what we're going to do. You're just going to go to your keyboard and you're going to locate the A. You know where that is. And right now, we're just going to be looking at the bottom line here on the treble, clef, on the treble staff. And you're just going to go up and go A, A sharp. Now. What a sharp is, is it raises the pitch a half step. So it just brings it to the next key. So a half step is up one key, like that. And so we have here A to A sharp. Locate A on your keyboard and say with me A a sharp. Now let's go to the B, B sharp. Look here, you find B. And B sharp is the next key up. Now you go, hey, wait a minute, that's C. Well, you're right. But here's what happens in music you have ways of spelling things correctly, just the way you have things that you spell correctly in a language. If you take more advanced note reading and theory with me, which as some will, some won't. You'll find out why that's important. The why doesn't matter right now. We're just going to look now at this B to a B sharp. And all we care about is that we locate this and you say with me, B, B sharp. And then we go to our next one, C, C sharp. And here it is, C to the next key, C sharp. And we can do the same thing an octave higher. A, A sharp, B, B sharp, C, C sharp. And we locate that A. A, A sharp, B, B sharp, etc. 
We can look then at the base clef and we see a flat. Locate A and now say with me and watch A A flat. Now a flat like that means go down a half step. Go down a half step. And so we look here at the A to the A flat. We've gone down that next step. Look here, we have G to G flat. Locate G. And now go to G flat and say with me, G flat. Then finally we've got here, or not finally, we've got another one here. F to F flat. So let's take a look at F. There it is. F to F flat, going down a half step, just down to the next key here. And there again, you see how F flat is also E. That type of thing happens a lot in music, but um, we don't want to answer the question why right now. It doesn't matter. Now, what we've just done, review that as much as you have to. I think you'll get it okay, but review it until you understand it, you're able to do it, and then come back to the video. Well, you'll see here that I have our accidentals test number one. And so you'll want to download this from the website. <clears throat> and here's what you're going to do. You're going to do exactly as we just now practiced with what you drew, only you have this worksheet. You're going to locate now C on your keyboard. And what you're going to do is you're going to play and sing at the same time and play the right key slowly and do all of these accidentals. So when you look at the first one you'd be locating C and you'd be going like this C, 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 C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D, D. That's how you're gonna do that. In music now, once we have said in a measure and drawn a sharp or a flat we don't have to change it, or we don't have to write it down again. We don't have to put sharps in front of every one of those. A person could, it's just kind of sloppy, and so uh, that sharp right there is saying all of those are going to be sharp. That flat right there says all of those are going to be flat. That natural sign that I didn't um, introduce to you means you play that note as a pure note that you learned. It's neither sharp nor flat, so that's going to be E, just regular old E called E natural. E natural. So if we were playing here, here's our E flat. E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E natural, E natural, E natural, E natural, is how we're going to do those. Um, then, you know, when you come down here, you're going to be in the bass clef. Now, the whole point here is to experience this. Don't analyze too much because it can kind of mess you up at the stage because there are times where you'll be going up and you have a flat or you're going down and you have a sharp. Don't worry about that because it will, it will lay itself out just fine. Um, experientially, you, f you do this and it's going to come along fine. Work on this until you get it relatively good at 60 on your metronome. Then come back to this video, check yourself out with this video, and we'll do it together. And you can do it as many times as you need to, to get this down flat. All right, we are back. You've worked on this. We are setting our metronome for 60. Got the handy dandy metronome right here. I'm going to turn him on. And here we go, starting on C. Together, go. C, 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 C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D, 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 E flat, E flat, E flat. Flat E natural E natural E natural E natural F F 
F sharp, F sharp, G, G sharp, G natural, F sharp, F natural, F sharp, G, G sharp, G natural, G sharp, G natural, F sharp, F natural, E, E flat, D, C sharp, C natural, C natural, C sharp, C natural, C natural, C natural, C natural. Good, let's take a little break while I bring this scroll this down. We're going to be in the bass clef now. We find our A. And you know, when we've gotten to an A natural or a C natural, whatever, we don't have to keep calling it A natural, A natural, A natural. Um, but I'm, I'm doing that so that um, in your mind, you're really, really sure while you're doing this, the difference between a, a natural, a sharp, and a flat. Here we go now, starting measure 13. Ready, go. A, A, G sharp, G sharp, G natural, G natural, F sharp, F sharp, F natural, E, E flat, D, C sharp, C natural, B, B flat, B natural, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E natural, F, F sharp G F sharp G G sharp A G sharp A A B flat B flat A G G natural F sharp F natural E E flat D C sharp C natural C now I know that that might be somewhat of a challenge getting it at that speed for you, but do it and do it and do it until you have it with me at 60.